Hello and welcome. Today's video is going to be an around the house nasty clean it all with me. I don't really know how else to title this or explain it, but there are a handful of places in and around my home that are just filthy, nasty, and disgusting. And today I wanted to go ahead and take some time to tackle those spaces. I wanted to go ahead and start with the front porch because it looked like it was about to rain and I wanted to go ahead and make sure that I got everything out there done that I wanted to get done. I really just needed to go through this corner and grab a couple things that needed to be trashed because I have one of those little seat covers that go in the back of my car for when I take Bodie somewhere. But the last time he jumped in the back of my car he was excited and he busted two of the buckles on it so it really won't stay up so that's got to go in the trash I need to go ahead and get another one for the summer but over here in this corner I just really keep like my watering cans and the little plant stand and the screen that I use to kind of block the walkway on the porch for when Bodie and I go out there and sit and then I also had a couple of empty cans of bee spray and one full one. We have to keep bug spray out here all the time, especially for the bees, because once it starts to get warm, it is so awful trying to sit out here and just kind of be to yourself and not be bothered by the bees. <laughs> but I didn't want to do like a full, full clean on the porch. I really just wanted to knock off some of the dirt and the leaves and the dog hair, kind of spray it down and get some of that pollen off of here. It is full bloom springtime and I'm just tired of walking up on this porch every day and seeing all of this. But over the weekend, Reuben went to Lowe's and picked up a whole bunch of mulch because they were having, as he says, a really good sale. So he went ahead and got a bunch of mulch. So here in the next couple of weeks, he and I are going to be out here and getting a whole bunch of the outdoor stuff done. And of course, I'll bring you guys along with me for that. But this porch is also going to get redone. I'm going to try to sweet talk him into this new little porch set that we saw at Lowe's. I think it may be too big, but we'll see. I kind of want something that glides or rocks, either a glider or a rocker, obviously, because when it gets to be summertime out here, I really want to be able to bring Mila out and just rock and enjoy the outside and not the bees. But um, I do want something that kind of, you know, will rock. So maybe what we looked at isn't going to be the best choice, but uh, you guys, I cannot wait until we get somewhere where I've got like a big deck and I can just have a really nice seating area because one thing that I love to do in the summer is sit outside. I will watch people. I will read. I will scroll my phone. I will make ridiculous Instagram reels. You name it, I'll do it. But I really want this porch to be nice. And it usually is. It, it's always nice. I'm very grateful for it. But I think it's time for a new seating area. So stay tuned for all of that stuff. I think we're probably going to be doing some new staining to the deck and probably replacing a lot of the stairs because they're warped and just definitely need to be replaced. So after I got everything sprayed off, I just went ahead and brought everything back up onto the porch and I forgot I had this little table which saved my life because I was going to go buy a new one. That way I can put my camera on here because it's just been sitting on the arm of this little couch and it falls off all the time. So I went ahead and put that up, but I'm going to have the reveal of everything all nice and clean at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned and watch that. But I also wanted to let you guys know that today's video is extremely special to me. I'm collaborating again with my very, very good friend, Amanda. You guys have heard me talk about her a ton. I also share her on my YouTube and my Instagram as well. Her channel is Amanda Payne. I'm going to have all of her information and links in my description box below. If you guys have not gone over and watched any of her videos yet, please, please, you are missing out. I love her so much. We are such good friends, not only on YouTube, but in real life. We are just so similar, especially in our life right now. So you guys know that I just had my first granddaughter, Myla, in November, and Amanda just had her first granddaughter, Lakely, last month, so we're getting to go through all of this stuff together, and it's just so fun and exciting, and I absolutely love this for both of us, but she does so much cleaning. She does decorating. She does, you name it, she does it. She is a jack of all trades. If you want to see anything that gets redone, um, like any of her little DIY projects. She just does so much stuff. You guys are going to love her. If you've not 
crossed her channel yet, which you must be under a rock if you haven't. Make sure to go and check her out after this video. Let her know that I sent you. Tell her hello for me. But I just love her so much. And um, if you guys are coming over from Amanda's channel, thank you for being here. And thank you for coming to spend some time with me today. I truly appreciate it. I have tons of realistic, real life cleaning over here. Um, I just keep it 100 all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really glad that you guys are here too. So I hope you stick around, subscribe if you enjoy the video, and let me know in the comments if you're new and if you came over from Amanda's channel. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the backseat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Oh. Now it's clear we are here back at your house. Fading into the background I'm wide awake Now you keep missing out for sure Take down your walls And let me ooh, ooh, ooh Yeah, brick by brick Now let me ooh, ooh, ooh I wanna be right there by your side I wanna be there Won't you be mine Take down your walls And let me Yeah, brick by brick Now let me so once I got the porch done, I went ahead and grabbed that fan that's in my bedroom. I am embarrassed that you even had to see that. We have discussed the dust and the nastiness that is in my house, but I want you to pay close attention when I start to spray these fan covers. Oh my, look at that. Look at that. Look at all of that dust. <gasps> Y'all, that was blowing around my bedroom. Oh, I figured the best way was just take everything apart, take it outside, spray it down, and give it a good clean. I also took Bodie's bowls out there. I don't know how or why he gets them so disgusting, but he does, bless his soul. So that desperately needed to be cleaned, and I'm going to be cleaning my trash can as well. I have had that on my list for weeks, months probably, and I just forget about it. Like these are things that need to be cleaned all the time and I just forget about them. Now Bodie's bowls I clean a lot more often but like this fan and that porch oh my god it's so gross but I desperately needed to get that fan done. If I wasn't going to do anything today that fan was definitely going to be one of them but my trash can is one of those that you put batteries in and it's you know you know, it's one of those. So I don't suggest to put your lid in the sink like I am and scrubbing it down. I do it because I don't care if I, if I kill it. <laughs> um, I am really easy about going around like where the battery compartment is and stuff like that. I don't spray that with water, but it just doesn't get as clean. Like if I take a Clorox wipe to it again, I don't know how this gets so gross, but it does. I mean, it is a trash can lid, but I'm still in the market for a new one so if you guys have suggestions if you have one that you like let me know in the comments i'd really like to have one of those bougie ones that have like the two sides on it and it comes with like a little air freshener you can put in there and the bags are like on the side i don't know the name of it but i see it on tiktok all the time all the rich people have them which is not why i want it but i think it's really neat and it's also slim so it can fit right there in that little space um so after I got all of that stuff washed off, I just kind of let that dry for a little bit and I took just this little microfiber towel and I got it wet with some hot water and wiped down the base of the fan. Then I realized all of the gunk that was up in the little nooks and crannies. I'm telling you, if you grab a can of this office spray, the you know, the spray that you clean off your keyboard and stuff that has like the air in it, I don't know where that little straw went, but we got the job done, okay? I really am embarrassed about this. But you know what? Everybody has places in their house like this. You shouldn't be ashamed. I'm just here to motivate you and to let you know you're not alone. And I will put my mess on the interwebs for you guys to look at so you don't feel as bad. So I got all of that stuff blown out. Um, and then I let that set so I can wait for the other pieces to dry so I can put it back together. But right now I'm going to go ahead and take this carpet cleaner. My carpet is something that you guys hear me talk about a lot. And I vacuum it all the time at least once a day, if not twice a day, but I don't always put this freshener in it. It's specifically made for dogs, so it's not gonna bother him if he inhales it or eats it, you know, while it's on the ground. 
I do try to do this at least once a month. Sometimes I do forget, but it does help refresh the carpet and it just smells so much cleaner and nicer and it helps to bring up dog hair and all kinds of stuff that is in your carpet. So I went ahead and sprinkled the living room and our bedroom with it because those are really the only two rooms that he goes in that has carpet. The kitchen is another place that he really stays, but it just smells so much better when I do this and I don't think about it every time. So I do need to get better on remembering to do this more often because it definitely does make a huge difference. So somehow I forgot the entire trash can upstairs when I had all of this other stuff out here cleaning it. So I went ahead and brought it down and just put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in it. Sprayed it out really good. The inside was perfectly fine. It really wasn't bad whatsoever, but I still wanted to spray it out and that Dawn really helps to get any kind of lingering odors or anything like that out of there but the outside was kind of bad, so I did want to make sure that I got that sprayed off. I'm going to go ahead and use the Wyman's stainless steel cleaner for the outside of it once it gets dry, but yeah, it was, I cannot believe that I left it up there, but <laughs> I went ahead and made sure that I got that sprayed out, but the rest of the parts of the fan was finally dry that I can put it back together. I tell you what, the, this is like major brownie points for me because when Ruben comes home and sees that I clean this fan, Y'all, I'm, I'm good, you know, like this, this is a, a huge thing. This is a huge thing. And it's just so tedious, you know, to take it apart, to get all of the stuff out of it, to, it's just, it's not the most, I would much rather go and buy a whole brand new fan than to clean this. That's, that's how I feel about it. But look at it. Oh, it looks so much better. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to go to sleep and have that fan turned on. Cannot wait. Um, Bodie's bowls also are very clean. And um, I talked to him for a minute and tried to figure out why it is that he gets food and slobber and nasty stuff all over it. He had no good reason. And I told him it was okay. He's still a good boy. And I'll just keep cleaning it for him. But um, yeah, here is the stainless steel cleaner. It just shines everything up really nice. And my gosh, it smells delightful. If you guys have not tried it, I use that stuff on everything. <laughs> It smells really good. I really enjoy it. Also, if you guys have some new cleaning products that you're enjoying, I would really like to know. I do love my Clorox spray. It's like the coconut flavor. I can't remember the exact name of it, but if you know, you know. I love the Wyman's, and I love Sprayway, and I love Dawn. Those are like my, my main squeezes. Also, a little pink paste um, goes a long way. I use that on almost everything. But yeah, it's, um, it's looking good in here, y'all. I'm so glad that I finally set aside some time to get all of this stuff done because it was nasty, nasty. 
But that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, I really do hope you enjoy it. I hope it motivated you. Thank you so much again for being here today. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Again, don't forget to go and check out Amanda's channel. Let her know that I sent you. And if you're new, let me know in the comments. I hope you subscribe before you leave. Come back and watch some more videos. But for now, I gotta go. I love you and appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.